Hi, it's Gary. Welcome to today's video. Today, fountain pen focus day, and I thought we'd focus on this. This is the Nawal 365 Cano Crystals. I'm going to be honest with you, I love the looks of this pen. I really do. I think it's so pretty. Join me down on the mat. We'll take a closer look at the pen, we'll do some size comparisons, some weights and measures, a writing sample. Then I'll give you my thoughts and some scores for this pen. Welcome down to the mat. Here we've got the Narwhal 365. This is Cano Crystals. The material for this pen, it's by Jonathan Brooks and it's Primary Manipulation 3.5. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm very, very biased here. This is the prettiest pen I own. So I'm going to slowly turn this around so you can see all the colours. So we've got blues, we've got purples, we've got like browns and coppers, yellows, greens, light blues. We've got these dark, gorgeous different purples up here in the cap. Just look at this green here, the way it's coming out. This is a pen. I'm going to sound really sad when I say this. You could sit for ages just twirling it around in your hand like this and just looking at the colouring. It's such a pretty pen. But we're not here to see how pretty it is, are we? We're here to see about the whole pen. So the shape of it, it's the Nautilus shape. So we've got slightly domed ends on each end. Then we've got this more or less a consistent width. So we've got the body till we get to the ink window. We have a step up and then into the cap. Up here on the top of the cap, there we've got the number. It was a limited edition. Let me see if I can get this. There we go, into focus. So it's a limited edition. There's 365 of them made. That's why it's called the 365. This one was from 2021, and this was pen 309. They did the Cano Crystals. There's also another model, and again, there's 365 pens in that range as well. So the cap, as I say, we're looking at a Nautilus type shape. So we come very quickly up. We've got this gold colored clip. Looks quite nice, the clip. Nice and springy. I never use the clip, so I don't really worry too much. All I have a clip for is to stop the pen from rolling off. We come on down. Here we've got, at the bottom, we've got this band. Got some nice engraving there. Let's turn it around till we come back to the front. There is a noticeable drop down. Then we come into the body. Here we can see the ink window. The ink window is very small. That's really one of what I think is the downsides. That ink window, just too small. I'd like to see it double the size. You carry on down the pen. I say it's the same width. We get to a gold colored band. Then we've got the piston mechanism. It's a piston filling pen. I am not going to twist this knob. I do not want the ink all over the place. Because the ink window, as I've already said, I think it's too small. You can't really see much in the way of the colour. And I struggle, to be honest, to see the ink level as well. The cap, it comes off. There's one turn. There's one and a half. Two turns. Just over two turns. So, yeah, that's quite nice. That's livable. That reveals this narwhal nib. Gold coloured, again for me, I like to see two-toned nibs. This is quite pretty, but I'd love to have had some kind of two-toned nature to it. We've got on the sides, we've got a little bit of decorative engraving. Above the breather hole, we've also got some decorative engraving. Below that, we've got the narwhal logo. Again, a little bit of engraving below that. Then on the left-hand side, hopefully you can just see it there. We've got the nib size, this is a medium. The section, it's nice and comfy. You know, it's concave. My fingers fit quite nicely. I hold my pens down near the bottom. I can't feel the threads with my thumb. And the lip, again, actually fairly comfortable lip. My fingers don't dig in. And it's a nice size there in the section. Let's pop the cap on. That's it, I just think the pen looks so pretty. What I'm going to do is fetch in some pens for a size comparison. First two pens, Pilot Metropolitan, Lamy Safari. 
These are pens I use in all my videos, so I've got a consistent benchmark for doing size comparisons against. Most people, they've either got or seen one of these two pens. Don't they look diddy when compared to the Narwhal? Let's take off the caps. Uncapped, well, we start to see a slightly different picture here, don't we? The Lamy and the Narwhal, almost the same size. Even the Pilot is coming up in terms of size. And that's when I'm lining up at the bottom of the nib. If I line up based on the section, so the start of the section is now lined up, we've got a very slightly different picture. So unposted, it's very comparable in size to these two. This pen doesn't post, look at that. You know, it won't even go on there. So I'm not even going to attempt to show you comparisons with posted pens. Let's get these two pens out of the way. And we'll look at some pens that are in roughly the same price range. So the pens I brought in, I've got a Leonardo Ferrari that was 230 Australian dollars. This pattern's called white salt. I really like the pattern. Then we've got the Narwhal Nautilus Cano Cristals, 241 Australian dollars. And finally, I've brought in a Tabaldi Bernonia. 255 Australian dollars. This Tabaldi, it's in the Bora Bora pattern. So unposted, the Leonardo and the Tabaldi, roughly the same length. Both of them, though, slightly shorter than the Narwhal. The nibs, they all look like number six nibs. I haven't attempted to change the nib on this Narwhal pen. I don't intend to. But on a number of my other Narwhal pens, I have swapped nibs around. Let's pop the caps back on these. With the caps on, you know, it's very much, it's a similar story, isn't it? They're all roughly the same size. Let's get these out of the way and we'll fetch in the rule of measuring. Here we've got the rule of measuring. Let's fetch in the pen. So with the cap on, that comes in at 14.9 centimetres. Unposted. Here we're talking about 13.2 centimetres. We've already said it doesn't post. The width of the body, that's 1.4 centimetres. The cap is 1.55 centimetres. The section at its narrowest, which is just about here, that's 1.05 centimetres. And that goes up to 1.19 at its widest point. Nice fit in my hand. Feels really comfortable. Let's move this out of the way and fetch in the scales of weighing. Here's the scales of weighing. So the whole pen, 34 grams. The cap, 13 grams. And the pen, 21 grams. Remember, we do have ink in this pen as well. Let's get this out of the way and fetch in the notepad of testing. Today's notepad of testing, Ayush paper, 100 GSM paper made in India. It's a really nice fountain pen friendly paper. Got a slight texture to it, which I really enjoy. And I, I find that adds a little bit of a tactile nature to my writing. A little bit absorbent as well. This is an A4 sized pad. Let's write. So we've got here. I'm going to use the old spelling because when I bought it, that's where it was. And to be honest, I can't remember how to spell the other one. No. So it's a now, now all. It's 365. It's the 2021 model. Canna Crystals. The nib is medium. And cost wise, as we've already said, 241 Aussie dollars. The ink in here is by Diamine. And it's Festive Joy. Nice purple ink, but it's also got a bit of shade into it. I'm not showing sure if that's coming through yet. If we look here on the N, A and R of Narwhal, I can certainly see that coming through with my eyes. Not sure if it comes through over the camera. Drying times. So we've got immediate. 10 seconds. 30 seconds. Still slightly wet, one minute. 
Yeah, after a minute, that's nice and dry. I'm going to move the mic down to the page so you can hear the pen writing. That's a nice writing experience. There's a little bit of texture. I really enjoy it. You can feel the feedback, but it's not really jumping out. It's, there's not too much of it. I think that's a really nice nib paper and ink combo. Let's look at line variation. There's no pressure. I'm going to add some pressure. And I'll do some S's. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to do an S with no pressure, then one with pressure. A little bit of a difference in the line, but not overly. You know, it's a steel nib, so you're not going to expect too much in the way of line variation. Ink flow keeps up really nice. That's zooming across this A4 page. And there we go. So what are my thoughts and scores for this pen? We'll start with pen looks. As I said right at the very beginning, I'm a bit biased. This is by far the prettiest pen that I've got. I absolutely love this material. It's the only Jonathan Brooks material that I've got. I do want to get some more though. It's just, you know, saving up to buy them. That's the problem, yeah. really. So many pens, just so limited money. Pen looks, and there's not much else I can add. It just, it just is so pretty. This is 10 out of 10. It's a stunning pen. Build quality, I've had no issues. You know, it works well. All the threads work well. That piston mechanism works well. Writes well. You know, it's just really good across the board. 9 out of 10. Writing experience. We can see here, it's nice. Get no issues. The nib does feel a little bit on the stiff side. The ink, you know, here on the narwhal, we can definitely see some of that gold sheen coming through. Don't see it much though on the rest of the sample. So I do find that I don't get a lot of sheen in this ink. This is Tom I River 52 GSM paper. So we've got the, oh, I've used the new spelling there, narwhal 365. The ink's nice on here. Again, not really much in the way of character to it. You know, it writes, it writes nicely. Is it something that you'd want to write home about? Well, you would about the looks, but the writing is perfect for what I want. Let's me get the ideas out of my head, onto paper, and I really enjoy doing it. So for writing experience, I'm going to give it nine out of 10. Ink flow, again, we've seen the ink flow as well. No issues with hard starts, no issues with skipping. It's a consistent flow. Had different inks in this pen. All of them wrote really well. Nine out of 10. Comfort, you know, it's a nice pen to use. It's comfortable, nice length. My fingers sit nicely there on the section. They're not too squashed together. Nice weight, it doesn't feel overly heavy. I actually like the fact it doesn't post. I don't post my pens anyway, so you don't have to worry about it. Really nice. If I was going to complain, I'm going to be extremely picky here. This is based on the Nautilus model and on the Ebonite Nautilus pens. They've got the round ink windows, so it look a little bit like portholes. I'd like to have seen that on this material. And I understand the material, you just can't really do that, but it would have been nice. Comfort, 9 out of 10. Value for money, it's $241 for a steel nibbed pen. That's, you know, I'm not going to say that's cheap because it certainly isn't. It's not expensive. I've got a number of other steel nibbed pens which cost more than that. It's a nice pen though. For the looks, you can see where you've got that extra money because to make it look nice, to get this really nice, highly polished surface. The nib works well. I have to come back to the, it is a lot of money. Now they say it's a limited edition. 
365, so you could argue about how limited that is. It's a pen I'm glad I've got. It's not a pen that would drive me to buy all the 365 models. I think if I saw another one that I'd like to the material i might buy it but this pen's not enough for me to go out and say gary you've got to have all the now or nautiluses or you've got to have all the now all 365s it does what i need i can get ideas out of my head and onto paper i certainly enjoy using it so for value for money i'm only going to give this eight out of ten i think we've got to bear in mind it's a lot of money for what it is so the total score for the now all 365 cano crystals with die mine festive joy is 9 out of 10. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Have you got this Now All 365? Do you have one of its siblings? What are your thoughts on them? What are your thoughts on Now All pens in general? I've got quite a few of them. I really enjoy all my Now All pens. Please drop a comment down below. Let's kickstart the conversation. Please hit the thumbs up button every time you like, every time you comment, well, it just helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.